Prophylaxis exists in tactics as well, of course. The following is a good example of how we need to look a bit deeper into our opponent's thoughts and ideas. King g8 f8. Seemingly a winning attempt, but actually it loses directly. f4 f5. g6 g5. Was not the intention, of course. White wins after. Bishop h4 takes on g5. Bishop c8 captures e6. f5 captures e6. King f8 g8. e6 e7. Queen c7 c8. Queen h3 g3. Queen c8 e6. Bishop g5 f6. Queen e6 f7. Queen g3 captures d6. With total domination. Bishop h4 takes on g5. Bishop c8 captures e6. Bishop c8 captures e6. f5 captures g6. This must have come as a complete shock to poor Jerabuk. White would much rather have a pawn on g6 than on e6. But in reality it was not so difficult to predict this move if you took the time to look carefully for it. King f8 g8. Queen h3 captures e6. King g8 h8. Queen e6 f5. White does not close the deal in the most effective way, but wins anyway. Rook f1 f5 was immediately decisive. Queen e6 f5. White does not close the deal in the most effective way, but wins anyway. Rook b8 b5. Queen f5 h3. Rook b5 h5. Queen h3 g4. Rook h5 h6. Queen g4 e6. Queen c7 b8. Bishop h4 g5. Queen b8 g8. Queen e6 captures d6. Rook h6 h5. Bishop g5 f6. Gives white a winning attack, but it takes a bit of effort. For example, Knight c6 e5. g2 g4. g2 g4. Knight e5 captures g4. Bishop f6 captures g7. King h8 captures g7. Rook f1 f7. And white wins. Knight c6 d4. Queen e6 f7. Rook h6 h5. Bishop g5 f6.